Welcome to the Wednesday Word, a brief encouragement from Scripture. Glad you're with us today. And of course, it is Christmas season or Advent season, and uh, we hear a, a lot of different terms. And one in particular that always bubbles to the surface at Christmas time is the word peace. And of course, rightly so as believers, because when we study our Bible, we see that word a lot. And the prophecy about Jesus in Isaiah 9, 6, it, call, it says the Messiah will be the Prince of Peace. Uh, when we have our Advent candle, we have a candle of peace because there's so much talked about it in the Christmas story. Think about when the angels appeared to Mary and Joseph and the shepherds. They said, fear not or don't be afraid, which if you put a positive spin on that, what are they saying? Be at peace. Uh, we have good news for you. Uh, when you get into the Gospel of Luke, uh, Zachariah's prophecy at the end of chapter 1 and verse 79, he says, the Christ we know is Jesus is to give light to those who sit in darkness in the shadow of death. And notice this, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Of course, when the angels announced the coming of the Christ to the shepherds, that famous line in Luke 2, verse 14, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is well pleased. And so throughout the Christmas prophecies and narrative, we hear a lot about peace because Jesus came to give us peace. As a matter of fact, in Jesus' earthly ministry, in John chapter 14, uh, in verse 27, he says, My peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you, not as the world gives you. So do not let your hearts be troubled or, or let them be afraid. And so Jesus is saying, I'm coming to give you peace, a peace that the world can't give you. When we get to Romans chapter 5, uh, this great letter by the Apostle Paul on the gospel he says, therefore, since we've been justified by faith, we have what? Peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We read about the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. And so peace is a theme that tells us about the Christ, who he is, what he's come to do. It's a part of the gospel. Um, it's a part of being filled with the Spirit. And so let's ask ourselves a little bit about that. Do you have peace today? And you might say, well, no, I don't. Okay, well, let's think about where we're trying to seek peace from. Remember, Jesus said, I come to give you peace, not as the world gives. Now, the world tells us peace is what? Peace is absence of conflict. Uh, peace is being comfortable. Peace is all of our dreams coming true. And of course, we know there will never be an absence of conflict, that, that there are going to be times life is uncomfortable, filled with trials. Uh, not all of our dreams are going to come true. So Trying to seek peace from the world is a false place to seek peace from. So where should we get peace? Well, obviously, the Prince of Peace, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so God's peace always starts and ends with Jesus because he's the Prince of Peace. So if you want peace in your life, it all begins by receiving Jesus by faith, trusting that he is who he says he is, that his work on the cross, his resurrection, his perfect life, uh, his coming again, all of that, we must believe and receive and surrender our lives to him. And the Bible says when we do that, then we have peace with God. And that's the most important peace we can have is that there's no longer a separation between us and God. We can come boldly to his throne because of Jesus. So we have peace. But probably when I started talking about peace, you were thinking about maybe something inward. Of course, yes, I have peace with God. Well, where does that inward peace come from? Well, it it comes from Christ as well. Um, if you're trying to find it in yourself and other things, it's not going to find. It's not going to be uh, there very long. It's always going to be temporary. But when we come to Christ, um, we find our identity in Christ. And when we find our identity in Christ, we find our identity in the Prince of Peace. And as we find our identity in the peace of, in the Prince of Peace, we know that He's given us His Spirit. So we need to. Seek to be filled with the Spirit, and one of the fruits of the Spirit is what? Peace. Now, say, so, okay, Pastor Ken, I've heard all that, but I'm still struggling with peace. Well, here's the thing. The Bible says that when we're worried, when we're anxious, when we're lacking peace, do what? Pray. Ask. Uh, Philippians 4, 6, and 7 is a great verse. Be worried for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known to God and the peace of God, which passes understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Interestingly, in verse 89, it also says to think about the things that are great. 
Think about the things that God can do. So if you're lacking peace today in this Advent season, first of all, let me just remind you, peace is found first and foremost and only in Jesus Christ. Receive him if you haven't done that. And once you've received him, then ask to be filled with the spirit. Find your identity in him. And if you're still lacking peace, then bring those anxious things to him and trust his promise that he will give you his peace. He can do it. And I, and I want to pray for you right now that he will do it. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the Prince of Peace, that peace begins and ends with you. I pray that everyone watching this, Lord, as they receive you, as they find their identity in you, Lord, as they are, I pray you'd fill them with your spirit and I pray you give them your peace, which passes understanding. Thank you, Lord, that this is a season to celebrate your peace. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope that's blessed you and you have a wonderful day.